here in the kitchen. We're uh, doing a little cooking tonight. Uh, it's going to make a kind of a fun little dish. It's fairly uh, simple actually to make. Well, the only hard part might be is a uh, finding duck. So it's a wild wild duck with a, a wild rice salad. So all the ingredients are right here. So it's really a pretty simple dish, quite honestly. And then uh, duck, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a pretty massive uh, uh, waterfowl conservationist and have uh, built a quite a, quite of a wetland system over in the Central Valley. And uh, we do do a lot of cool stuff with um, Ducks Unlimited, the California Waterfowl Association, and different things like that to help preserve and bring back uh, wetlands that used to be there hundreds of years ago. Anyway, so I also like to eat ducks, so we've uh, got that. So basically just get it chopped up into little cubes. Uh, you can use chicken if you want to use to do a substitute, or one of the ones I've talked about before, squab is, would be a great addition to, and you can get that from my buddy, squab.com. Um, so anyways, we're going to start out with um, making the dressing. So the dressing is very simple. So we've got lemon juice, and then we put a little bit of... Um, a little bit of garlic in there, a couple of cloves, something like that. We'll use the rest of it. We'll put this actually the duck when we cook it, the balance of it that goes in there. And then we need some local honey, like tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you guys are feeling goes in there. This is always the hard part, right? Get the, get to get the stuff out of there. Okay. So now we've got that. Then the next thing is, is um, olive oil. So we use our estate grown olive oil and you want to start mixing this and then slowly drizzle in the olive oil. Because if you go too fast, it gets a little messy really quick. So try and get it incorporated as good as you can. Everything blended all in there. And we're done there. And then um, always got to put some salt in there, right? You guys know me if you watch any of my videos, I'm a big salt guy. <laughs> and some pepper, gotta have some pepper. So that's, that's basically it as far as the dressing goes. So we'll just keep mixing this a little bit. Then we're gonna set it aside and we'll come back and put everything together here in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna cook the duck now. And this is my uh, wine of choice that I have always, uh, always cook with. And I literally will put some in the pan and then take a sip. Triana Blanc is a, it's just a, it's a, a really cool wine. It's, um, it goes with so much, right? I mean, not only this is an aperitif wine, but it really, it's, it's a big enough white wine where you can actually pair it with just about anything. It'll go well with this duck. We're going to do a little different, different deal here. Um, and with, with uh, dinner, we're gonna do some Grenache, but so with, with wild game, um, you gotta cook it really high, is the way I do it, and fast. Because um, it's not, um, you just really want it to get seared. And it could be, when wild game gets overcooked, it's just, um, it becomes like, uh, like really not desirable liver. I don't know, if, I, I love liver, but you gotta eat liver medium rare, but if you've ever had liver where it's well done, you'll know what I'm talking about. So wild game, because it has very little fat, so it's also very good for you as well. So just want to kind of stir it in there, mix a little bit. I threw, remember, I threw some garlic in there as well. Keep moving it around, and you know, you'd be able to tell, I mean, you just want to get it browned on the outside, and, and generally it's, it's, a, it's, you know, three, four, or five minutes. It doesn't take very long to, to get a good uh, cooking on the, uh, on your duck. And one thing you can do too is um, what I like to do is I like to brine, brine wild game before you cook it. It's like this soaked overnight in, um, in just simple salt. Use a, a sea salt, don't use iodized. Use sea salt and uh, water and that's it. Put it in a bag, let it soak overnight and then I pull it out and I, uh, I take a, a, like an abalone pounder, put a piece of um, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? A saran wrap on the top of it and then pound it so you can get it a little more tender because it, it can be tougher sometimes. So, and if you're using chicken, you don't really need to do that. But So, and then while this is finishing up, so we started over here, we cooked, uh, I cooked wild, wild rice early, just a little bit ago, so it's done. Remember, and always leave extra time for wild rice. Wild rice takes longer than traditional rice. It just, the way it is, it's, uh, 
And usually it says put, uh, you know, like a cup of, of rice. It's usually like two cups of water. It's usually almost twice what they say. But you can just keep adding it. Just keep an eye on it. All right. We'll go back and we'll assemble everything and show you what it looks like. We've got our rice. So what we're going to start here is we're just going to go ahead and put our rice in. All right. Put it in a bowl. Wild rice is like, is absolutely the best, right? I don't know um, if people have experience with it, but for me, it's, um, it's got so much more flavor. It's, uh, you know, not processed whatsoever. It's, uh, I think just makes a far better, far better thing. Okay, so we've got our rice in there, right? So then let's go through our other ingredients, right? So we've got uh, celery throw in there. So these are cherries, dried cherries. Has a nice little flavor to it. Some uh, onions, and I know people don't like onions sometimes when they're raw, but if you dice them really, really tiny, tiny like that, it'll um, be less noticeable. We've got bell pepper. Everybody loves bell pepper. Any color you want. And then these are uh, uh, pistachios, so they've been uh, taken out and um, of the shell, obviously. And these particular ones are or uh, chili roasted, so they got a little chili flavor on them. Okay, so we've got our, our dressing here. We gotta make sure we stir that a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and add our duck into it. Good. Now we're all ready to roll. Now we got our dressing, we just kinda drizzle it around there. So you get all the good stuff out of there. Then you just mix it up, right? Probably should put a little uh, salt and pepper. And so the, the wine we've chosen for tonight is the Austin Oak Grenache. So I love Grenache. Grenache is a fun wine because it, um, it's got a lot of different, uh, so I might've heard you say this before, but I describe it as a masculine Pinot, right? And what I mean by that is uh, Pinot can typically be, you know, more light, you know, more delicate and Grenache can have the same thing, except it's got more power. It's got, it's got more, um, uh, more tannin to it, nice acidity, some, some structure, but it's still a light, lighter wine. And ours has some nice earth tones to it. So it's just, a, just an all around, I love that wine. It's just, it's easy drinking. And again, you can, you can drink that one with or without food, but it goes great with food. And uh, this is gonna be an excellent dish for it to go together. So you get a nice toss in there good. And then I like to finish it with just a, some cilantro, you know? If you don't like cilantro, you could always substitute it with um, uh, Italian parsley, which works as well too. So that's it. Wild duck uh, with wild rice salad. Fairly straightforward, simple, nice hearty meal. We're still, you know, it was uh, 70 degrees yesterday, but uh, it's uh, still kind of supposed to be winter, so it's kind of a nice hearty little meal and goes great with uh, Austin Oak Grenache. So thank you for support and look forward to seeing you soon.